Hi everyone, my name is Ashur. Welcome to my channel. So this is the eighth video in our Google Cloud Learning series and today we are going to discuss about how to reserve or how to create a static IP address. You know, we can create a static external IP address or we can uh, create a static internal IP address. Basically, when we say static IP address, it's we just reserving it for you know our own choice based on our own choice. So in our previous videos, we have seen how to create a virtual machine. So when we create a virtual machine, we choose option called ephemeral. So ephemeral means it's a dynamic, right? The Google Cloud is automatically allocating the IP address for us. Suppose we if we want to allocate a, 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 a static IP address, that means the IP address of our choice, right? A IP which we choose. If you want to assign a, 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 a that kind of IP address to a virtual machine, then first we have to create, first we have to reserve that IP address, then we can uh, assign that IP to the virtual machine. So first I came here, and under VPC you can see an option called external IP address. When you click on external IP address here, you will get option to reserve the IP address. Reload again. So first we need to reserve that IP address. Once we reserve, we can assign that IP address to the, um, to the virtual machine there. So let's just, uh, it's loading. Okay, so yeah, if, if, once we click on this one, you will get option like here. So click on reserve static address. Then we can put name like just uh, my, it will just keep name as my IP. Then it's a uh, premium. Go for standard one. Okay. Then we can have either IPv4 or IPv6. Or we can reserve either IPv4 or IPv6. I'm going to go with them IPv4 here. And here this global option is for uh, for something else. For, for example, forwarding rule which is something related to the load balance which we will discuss in, in upcoming videos so when we assign this public ip to a virtual machine we have to choose type as a regional and i'm going to keep this type as a us central one is it i will just first check what is my vpc region oh i think that doesn't oh yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because when we uh, gonna create a VM, we have to create uh, we have to create on that particular region. So yeah, US Central One, US Central One should be fine. So yeah, US Central One reserve, right? So this is gonna create a IP, which is right. This is again choose dynamically by Google. But this IP will never change. Now, whenever we refer a name called my IP, this always refer this IP, right? 35208104.17 is reserved for us. We can use wherever we want. Okay, that's what we about reserving the external IP. Now, if you want to reserve an internal IP, we have to go to VPC first inside VPC. You can see here besides happening there is option called static internal IP address click on that and let's click reserve static IP address again I'm gonna name like my private IP so from the subnet yeah from the we have two subnet here I'm gonna use US central one that's where I'm gonna create virtual machine here now instead of either we have two options here either assigned automatically that means just like how we see how we saw in the external IP here also Google will assign one IP to this uh, you know this private IP and that will be constant that will never change or we can choose our own IP right now if you say custom IP this is IP I want so I'm going to choose 192.168.10.10 okay non-share now reserve so that, that's the two option either we can let Google to decide which IP to assign uh, to this particular object. So if Google assigned an object to this one, then that will be constant, right? That, that won't change. Here we choose instead of that. So now we have a static external IP and static internal IP. So the next step here, let's just go to the 
computing and the virtual machine. Let's create a VM using this static static IP. Click on virtual machine VM instance. Yeah, it's loaded. Now let's click on create instance. I'm gonna go with everything default except region and IP. So you don't need to worry. It should be your central one. That's where we reserve our IP address. Remember, IP address is a regional resource. So we have to uh, host our instance into the same region, US central one, where we have our IP address. Then only we can use that IP for this VM. So zone doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go with the N1, this coast. Oh, and in the N1, I'm gonna go over, uh, I think this will be very cheap. Okay, that's fine. So that's okay, I will choose N1 standard, it's fine. Okay, now what we have to go, Scroll down until you see here networking. Click on networking. So you don't need to worry about networking tag and all. We just click on this one first. There is already one uh, network interface card is added to this virtual machine automatically. So let's edit here. So I'm gonna assign into prod. It's into prod network. And there are two subnet. Yeah, only one subnet. And the primary internal IP. So here we have a Two option right here uh, for example yeah what are the option we have here ephemeral automatic ephemeral custom and this is my IP which we, re we reserved in our VPC so I'm going to use this IP so this will never change okay so it is over here now for external IP again I'm going to use the IP which I already reserved okay two option if I used ephemeral it will uh, Google Cloud automatically allocate or assign a public IP to this VM if I use this one, this 35208104.17 IP will be assigned to this VM. So that's it. Let's go and click create. Yeah, so now you can see here it has an internal IP which we reserved, internal and external IP both are static. So even though if you shut down the system or you uh, Reloaded the system so the IP will never change. This IP will be constant.